Happy Mother's Day, everybody. I hope that you're having a wonderful Sunday, wonderful time with your family, especially to the mothers specifically. If you are wondering why I look like such a hot mess, it's because I put lip stain all over my face and then sort of just tried to blend it in. And so we've got different colors. You can see my hands are all stained. The reason I did this is to show off our liquid foundation and how amazing the coverage is and also our concealer. So we've been talking a lot about this on my page. I almost never come on on a Sunday, but I thought in honor of Mother's Day, I would do something kind of crazy and um, all the mothers out there understand. Hey, Lisa. So when you jump on, say hey. Hey, Sally. And I am going to get started. So first things first, I always start with my foundation first and then move on to my concealer. Some people prefer to do concealer first and then foundation. Um, I think if you're really gonna try to conceal areas, which obviously today we are, I like to finish with concealer because I feel like it just kind of has that um, overall concealing property. Thanks, mom. I know, I must be so proud. I'm such a pretty girl. Um, but also, I tried to rub it off my hand and it it's not coming off. I even used like my full-on um, makeup remover. Mm -mm, no, so I really should have thought about that, but I guess I'll be wearing makeup for the next few days until this bad boy comes off. So, good idea, Rachel, great idea. So anyways, let's jump on, who cares, right? This is what I'm willing to do, to show off how good this product is. So with our, I did put um, primer on. Right, so in this bundle this month, you can choose between the prep of your choice, which is our um, face primer or our face concealer. You get the liquid foundation, and then you get to choose a setting spray, either between a setting spray or a setting powder, right, to just set the overall look. So let's jump in with the foundation. You always wanna shake it because the components of this um, foundation can tend to separate and when they separate they're not going to do their job as well as they will when it's blended so you want to make sure that you get it nice and um, stirred up and then I always like to go the extra mile and just sort of empty what it's whatever's in the dropper and then reshake that because I feel like sometimes if you just shake the bottle but the droppers full you might be getting separated product from what was in the dropper so I'm feeling a little vulnerable right now I'm not gonna lie I think my real cheeks are probably just as even as this red because this is a little, it's a little intimidating to do something kind of crazy and weird and vulnerable on your live page. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. You can either apply this directly to your face, which is totally fine, um, but today I'm gonna apply it directly to the brush. So I'm gonna use the um, concealer to powder brush just because I like, I like this brush specifically for the concealer, but I like the ability to kind of toggle easily between the two brushes, and I also th like the way that this one blends it all out once it's kind of dried and in, more into the powder. This is a liquid to powder foundation, so it goes on liquid, and then it dries to powder, so it's kind of got a dual um, purpose. Okay, so I'm gonna go right onto the brush, and I'm gonna do, hmm, a little bit more to that one. I'm gonna do six. So we got about six drops right there right onto the brush and then you can always add more if you need them. So we're gonna splotch those especially in those areas first and then you want to just splot. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's not the right word but blot? <laughs> I don't know what the right word is. You wanna press up and down and kind of stamp stipple. There we go, I knew there was a word. And already you can see, there's a little bit of rosiness showing through, but look at that coverage just with the foundation. Now this is a medium coverage foundation when you're using just one um, application or one layer, but it's buildable, so you can absolutely add layers, right? And so you wanna always start with less, like right now, and then you can add. And so you wanna only add, this is a little tip, you wanna only add in the areas that you need it. So this, even though this is lip stain and it's not really my skin, for those of you with rosacea or eczema or just any kind of discoloration, you wanna start with less, right? And then only go back in and add more. Add, let's see, three drops. 
you only want to go back and add more in the areas that are kind of showing through. So for me, in this example, it would be right here on my forehead. I would want to add a little bit more and over on this cheek, right? But I don't necessarily need to add more all the way over um, my entire face. And I think that's sometimes where we go wrong. And that's when we can get too much product happening on our face. So my advice is to always kind of dab it on equally all throughout your face and then go back and see which areas need a little more TLC. Okay, the other thing I wanna just quickly talk about is that the foundation being medium coverage, the purpose of foundation is to go in and even your skin tone, right? To give you that really nice base, if you will. But <clears throat> again, it's not necessarily to go in and conceal. It is to conceal a little bit, but not fully. And that's where the concealer comes in. That's why both are necessary. So once the foundation is sort of even, and I feel like fully blended and set all over my um, face, like it's got an even coloring, even if it hasn't fully concealed, like I can still see some of the pink through there, that's okay because that is not foundation's job, right? Foundation's job is to go in, give you one even base or even coloring, right? And then concealer is to go in and conceal those areas that are extra. So the bags under your eyes, the flaws, the blemishes, the acne, for me, the lip stain on my forehead, whatever. That's what the concealer's purpose is for. So it's not a foundation. So a lot of times I'll see uh, girls and women will go back in over and over and over and over with layers and layers of foundation and that's not going to really give you your desired outcome in my opinion because although it will eventually completely cover it up it'll look it can look thick this specific formula it doesn't really get cakey because it's a liquid to powder so it blends with itself really well but still the more product you have sitting on your face the, the less natural it's going to look and to me, I like to just kind of go in, make everything even, conceal the, thing, the areas that I'm uncomfortable with, and then go. I don't want it to look like I'm wearing tons of makeup. So, speech over, let's go in with some concealer. So I'm gonna go in, and I'm going to brighten up the areas that I always brighten up, which is always underneath my eyes, right like this, and then always down the bridge of my nose, and then I always bring it right up here, like a little, I don't know, flower, leaf, <laughs> design, and then down on my chin, and a little bit on your cupid's bow, right? So those are the areas. Then I go back in and I'm like, mm, okay, where are some spots that I want to just make sure? For me, it's gonna be up in here. I think, I think actually what I have already is probably gonna be enough, but let's just add that. Do you have some little problem areas over here? So let's go ahead and get those. Now I will say when you're covering, when you're specifically covering up acne, scarring, um, just maybe textured skin from whatever reason, like maybe it's a dry patch or whatever, and you want it to be fully concealed, or if it's like a mole or just redness that's gonna be a lot darker than your skin tone, you wanna let the concealer kind of sit. And the reason I let it sit is because when it like melds with your body temperature, so your body temperature kind of melts it a little bit and then it gets it um, much more, I don't know, it sort of like makes it susceptible to sit in that spot without like moving all over. So I always let those problem areas sit a little bit longer than I do just the areas that I'm brightening. So I'm gonna go in and now you can see how awesome this little dual ended brush is. To me, it goes without saying because it significantly decreases the time spent doing makeup and toggling between two brushes. And it might sound dramatic, and maybe it is dramatic, but I'm telling you what, that alone saves me a lot of time. Plus it's awesome and it really blends well. That's kind of that problem area. So already, before it's even blended, you can see that it's completely covering up anything that was rosy on my cheek. I already had lip stain on, so trying to do your foundation with full-on lipstick, it's, it's a little challenging. Okay, and then I always want to brighten up that chin. So everything that you brighten, you are essentially bringing forward, right? So anything that you darken, 
you're causing to recede and kind of pull back. Do you like my stained fingers? Like it keeps distracting me. I always thought the concealer went under foundation. A lot of people think that. Um, I think it's like one of those things that's not technically the rule, but there are also not really rules in makeup. I think you can do whatever you want, but I get much better coverage and longer lasting coverage if I do the concealer on top. So that's my own personal preference and, and or rule. That's what I would teach you to, to do that. I also always go with a concealer that's at least one shade lighter than <clears throat> my um, foundation because it will add that extra brightening effect. And then whatever's left on my brush, I just kind of like to hit up on my actual eyelid and specifically right here on my lash line and then right underneath my brow because when your eyelids are nice and bright, um, you will look much more alert and awake and that will help you to look younger and more youthful. Some things to know, if you have um, mature eyelids, meaning that you have some wrinkles or fine lines, you probably don't wanna put a ton of concealer because um, you don't want it to look at all drying or cakey or just too much. And if you get too much concealer, it can sometimes look like that. So I do highly recommend a good brush. Like this is a very good one that just buffs out that um, excess product, but then also your finger. I just kind of go back and so in those little areas where I had I tend to have more fine lines and more creasing I like to pat it with my finger and again I think it's because for me I'm not saying this is fact or any kind of science but for me I've noticed I and I think it's because of the body temperature sort of again helping to kind of melt and meld that product to your face so now I'm gonna I'm gonna go back into those problem areas and always go up and down again because you're really wanting to push the product into those crevices and specifically with me because over here is, is acne related acne causes the texture of your skin to change which means that the levels right it can be raised where the acne is it can be decreased if you mess with it and cause a scab so it can just kind of be very uneven skin texture so you really want to make sure that you're pressing the product in so that it's getting in every little nook and cranny and crevice without just sort of swiping it on because when you swipe it on what ends up happening is the product goes deep into the the deeper areas and then it kind of rubs right off the top layers and so it gives you the opposite effect it actually draws more attention to the problem areas so if you just continue to do up and down it will literally disappear and then once like so I've got the area covered then I just kind of bring out that product in a circular motion and just sort of like fade it away onto my face and then I come in again up and down with the fluffy side of the brush just further blending it and then I'll do one last sweep over my eyelids or the areas on my face that crease for some people that's right around their nostril wherever you crease if it's your forehead if it's your around your nostril whatever it is make sure that you give one more like pat or rub it in or pat it in before you set it because how you set it it's done it's a done deal after that right so once it's set if you set a crease that crease is staying that extra product is like glued in so now i'm going to go in with the setting powder and it looks like this, a little case, right? And I'm using the exact same brush, and again, up and down motion. Because at this point, any product that hasn't fully dried will um, like slide off still. You know, you wanna make sure that the product dries. So to do that, you just wanna tap it or stipple it in up and down. And this is going to keep the product exactly where you put it without moving it or causing it to kind of smear back and forth. And then <clears throat> it's also gonna help you not get too much product because you, again, don't wanna look dry, especially if you've got dry skin. You wanna make sure that this little um, step is going in and mattifying everything, but it's not making it look dry. And there you go, so that is Concealer, liquid foundation, and then the setting, whoa, the setting powder, right? I use this brush. This brush is not included in the kudos, but that's okay. 
you can only get three, so grab these three and then grab this brush and you'll get dual purpose, right? Because you get both the powder and the liquid foundation with this end and then the concealer with this end. Now, I did also use the primer, but I would say at this point, most of my clients probably already have the primer. And if not, you can grab two bundles, right? Get your summer color or get a backup liquid foundation because you will get two foundations, but you can choose the opposite. So with one bundle, you can get the primer, the foundation, and let's say the setting powder. With the next bundle, you can get the concealer, another shade of the foundation, and then the setting spray. And let's just show off the setting spray because I really do love it. So the website, whoops, just broke it. The website for purchasing is prettymeplease.com. So prettymeplease.com. And then you click shop. And on the far right hand side, you'll see the word kudos. And right there, that's where you can pick all your colors. And if you need help being color matched, um, I feel that I'm pretty good at this at this point. I'm going on four years with this company this month. Okay, so with the setting spray, you want to, you want to continuously spray and then move the bottle from the top of your head down, right? So whew, feels actually very good and it smells very good. And then you just want to let that air dry and you can see immediately like it, it starts I don't know, it just gives that really nice dewy glow without being oily or greasy or any of those things. It just gives you like that nice, like natural, your skin should have a natural sheen or glow, right? It's never mattified. And I get that some people like that and that's your preference, but I always like my makeup to look super natural. And I feel like when you get this kind of glow, which you can get with this, um, it looks so much more natural. The other thing about this is that this is sweat proof, right? So when you spray your face, whether or not you use the setting powder or not, setting powder, um, this is gonna keep your makeup in place. So it's gonna keep it from sweating off or moving during, during the day, and especially in these summer months when it's getting really hot, at least it's, um, it's already like unbearably hot here. I mean, I shouldn't complain. I'm a little bit complaining because it's hot already. The pool's open. Okay, so we're in May. Anyways, this is going to be your best friend in the summer for keeping your makeup in place. The powder is also more of your best friend if you have oily skin and you really, really want to keep, you know, the product compacted and also mattified. So those are kind of the two difference. I typically use both of them because I like to set it with a powder and get it really nicely set and then give me at the end that like nice dewy spray. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful Mother's Day to all the moms out there. It's a, um, you guys make the world so much better. <laughs> make the world go round, especially my mom who's watching. Love you, mom. All right, so again, real quick, let me just go over this. You choose, in the one bundle, you choose between the Glorious Primer, which is going to keep your your makeup in place and or the concealer to me they're both like a no-brainer I absolutely can't choose so I would suggest throwing one of them on whichever one you don't get in the bundle throwing it in your cart you'll get the touch liquid um, foundation and also we're doing a really cool thing so if you get the wrong color or you're not sure which color to order online you can um, have a color love your shade guarantee which means if it's the wrong color we will send you a new one. You don't have to worry about sending the other one back. So you can give it to a friend, you can keep it for the winter or the summer, whatever the problem is with the color, but you don't have to worry and don't have to have the hassle of sending that back and paying the shipping and all of that. Um, and then after that, you get a, where did it just go? Well, you, you saw it, the setting powder or the setting spray, and you can choose between that. Otherwise, there's two brushes that you can choose between two if you've already got those products. So. It's a really, really good deal. Um, I am only one away from my goal, my temporary goal. So let's get some of those in the cart. I hope you guys have a wonderful Mother's Day and have a wonderful night. Bye, guys.